Hi everyone, this is Virendra from iDeserve. Today I'm going to talk about spiral level order traversal of a binary tree. So basically we are traveling level wise in the binary tree, but also we are doing it spirally. So there are two types of problems related to this and I'm going to talk about one of them today. So that problem statement is given a binary tree, we need to write a program to print nodes of the tree in a spiral order. Okay, I'll show you the traversal visually so you can understand what we are trying to do here. So if we start from zero, we need to go to 1 and we'll be traversing at this level from left to right. We'll print out 1, then 2, then trickle down to 6. We go from right to left here. We go to 3, 5, 4, come down to 7, 8, 9. I hope the traversal is clear and this is what we want to do in this problem. Okay, let's see how we solve this. Let's look into some of the insights into the algorithm that we are going to use. So we are going to maintain two stacks and we are going to fill them at two different levels, odd level and even level. These are the odd and even levels. So if you are at the even level, we are going to traverse from left to right and push nodes into the stack even. And when we are at the odd level, we go from right to left. So here we go from two to one. So we'll push two first and then one in the stack odd. If we are at the even level again, we go from left to right. If we are at the odd level, we go from right to left. And in the same manner, we fill up the corresponding stacks. Okay. And when, when we pop out the elements, we are going to print it out. That is the output. So let's go through the algorithm step by step. I'm going to put the out output here and I'm going to maintain these two stacks. For the first one, we'll call call it as even stack. The other one we have as odd stack. Okay. So for the first level we are at is even level. As soon as we are at that level, we traverse uh, the nodes in that level and push down to the corresponding stack. Here we have even stack and we push zero to it. So at each level, we are going to pop out elements from the corresponding stacks. Okay. So we are at even level. So we pop out elements from the even stack. Here we pop out zero and we print it out. Zero has two children, right? One and two. But where are they? They are at the odd level. So they, they are going to get pushed into stack odd. So I'll traverse the odd level from right to left and push the children onto the odd stack. Since the stack even is empty, we are at the, we are looking at the stack odd. We are going to pop out elements from stack odd and push their children into stack even because their children children will be in the even level, right? Let's pop out one from stack odd. What happens when we pop out one? We print it out. And what do we do with the children of one? We have four and five as its children, right? Since they are at the even level, we are going to traverse from left to right and push those children into stack even. So we push four and five. Since stack odd is not empty, we need to empty it before going to the next level and start emptying stack even. We are going to pop out two. As soon as we pop out, we print it out as the output and push its children onto stack even. What are two's children? Three and six, right? Since they are at even level, we push three and six in stack even. Okay. Now, since stack odd is empty, we start popping out elements from stack even. What we are going to do is first we pop out six, right? And then we print it out as part of the output. So once we pop out six, we are looking at, we are trying to see if it has any children. It has one child, right? It has nine. Since it is at the odd level, we are going to push nine onto stack odd. Then we pop out three, print it out. Since three doesn't have any children, we go ahead and pop out five, print it out. Since it has two children, seven and eight, we traverse from right to left since we are at the odd level and push eight and seven onto stack odd. There is still one more element in stack even, we'll pop it out four and then print it. So what do you see here is we have completed that stack even level. We have emptied out all the elements from it. That's why we have to move on to stack odd. What you see here is if we are at odd level, we 
print out all odd elements we pop out all the odd stack and once we move on to the even level we pop out all the elements from the even stack one more thing to notice is once we pop out anything from stack even we push children of those elements to stack odd so if you understand these two things it, it will be pretty clear to understand how the algorithm is working okay so let's pop out the elements from stack odd since we are at the odd level now and stack even is empty obviously we can't pop out from there so we pop out seven here since seven doesn't have any children we pop out eight and then nine okay so that's it we have the output string we have traversed the whole tree level wise in a spiral manner so let's look at the complexity of the algorithm time complexity is obviously order of n because we are traversing the tree once and touching each node to once and the space complexity of order of n because we use two stacks and the maximum amount of elements that can be present in a stack is the number of elements in the tree right so the space complexity of the algorithm is order of n thank you that's all about the algorithm i hope you understand it if not please check out our article on www.idesov.co.in you can click here and check out the article we do have visualization for the code as well you can go through step by step visualization for the algorithm and try to understand it please leave your comments and feedback please subscribe to the we are coming up with more and more videos very soon thank you